Welcome to yet another live video. And yes, before you even comment it, it is live. And uh, it's been a while. I know, I've actually been away. I've been touring in Texas, just finished a tour there, and I'm back in the studio, so feels good to be back. But I gotta say, nothing beats the in-person events, working with people face-to-face. -face. There's a certain magic that happens there. Now, you might be hearing this and thinking, oh, I wish I could make it out to one of those events in person. And if you can't, this is a key announcement before we dive deep on the topic of loneliness. If you go to julianmentoring.com, you can book a free coaching call. Okay, look, I know there's a lot of content and ideas and teachings and methods and techniques and tips and tricks out there in this whole self-help world. It can be very overwhelming. Right? It's like, well, where do I even start? What do I do? There's tips for productivity. There's tips for um, letting go. There's improvement. There's acceptance. There's loneliness. There's uh, social tips. Like, uh, it can be very overwhelming. Okay, It can actually keep you paralyzed or even worse, you start taking some action and you go in the wrong direction and end up far worse than not even taking action at all. Okay, This comes with the territory of 2021. Right, an abundance, an overabundance of content and information. And if that's you, okay, trust me, even back in the day, that was me a bit. If that's you, you feel overwhelmed, you're not sure if you're taking action in the right direction or not, just book a free call. Okay, this call here is for you. On this call, you'll, no joke, it's 100% free, by the way, you'll be able to talk to one of my coaches and they're gonna go over for free your situation. They're going to go over your situation with you. You'll be able to ask questions and together you can come up with a game plan and a roadmap moving forward. Okay. And not just that, but you'll also get a free letting go meditation. Okay. This here, we do it because although yes, right. I have a lot, a lot of events with clients I'm being very modest, you know, around the world. I do want to get this information out to as many people as possible. And for anyone who can't make it out to an event, there's the free call. Just go to Julian Mentoring. You'll see an application where you can apply for a free call. Uh, take it seriously, okay? Not everyone gets the free call. So when you fill out that application, add a lot of details. And if you qualify and I'm like, huh, you know what? This person actually is serious, wants the help. You'll get a free coaching session as well as a free letting go meditation. So all that is at julianmentoring.com. That being said, let's do this. All right, someone's like, nice, needed this one. Needed the loneliness tips or needed the free call? Okay, if you haven't done it yet, by the way, do the free call. It'll change your life. Now, when it comes to loneliness, this one is a bit more of a serious topic. We're gonna be going really deep on practical ways to actually deal with this. Okay, a lot of content out there is just like some motivational, like, it's okay, you'll find your way back. You feel lonely, just trust another day might do the trick. Right? It's a lot of wishy-washy, little feel-good spiel. It's like, here's some feel-good words. You lonely soul, you won't have to always be this way. Not here. We're going to go really practical right into it. But one more little request from you. Hey, make sure you hit the like button. You'll see it right below this video, right about here. Okay, click on like. Make sure you comment below and subscribe. This helps the channel and this video tremendously. The amount of likes, guess what, will determine how much this video will get spread and how many people will benefit from it. So if you're someone who's serious about results, right, you want practical tips, not some wishy-washy, feel good, loneliness is just temporary, click like. If not, you are cursed to forever be lonely. Want to lift the curse? Click the like button. That's right, we did another curse one, I know. Um, okay, someone's like, hey, what's up? Hey, Julian, hey, 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 welcome. Welcome. So let's do this, okay? Loneliness, this feeling of loneliness. Not a very pleasant feeling. As I said, this is gonna be a bit of a, you know, more down to earth, less happy dappy stream. Um, but this is something that, guess what? A lot of people experience, okay? And this will actually be the first point I want to address here. There's gonna be four ways you can handle this and break out of this. Number one, is take in the larger sense of unity. So what does this mean? When you're in this state of loneliness, right? You just feel very disconnected, very alone. And this doesn't mean, by the way, that you don't have friends and you don't see people, 
okay? A lot of people, they have actually amazing social lives, right? They'll go out, they'll go to dinners, they'll go to different events, they'll hang out with their friends. But even when they are around people physically, internally, they still feel lonely, okay? Let this land. Loneliness doesn't just mean you're alone in the external. You could be alone in the external and feel lonely, or you could be surrounded by people in the external and also feel lonely. And it kind of feels like, you know, there's this invisible glass wall between you and others, right? You might even be with your group of friends and they're all joking and kind of chatting about and you just feel a little different, right? It's like, well, yeah, I'm here talking, but I'm just not on the same frequency as them. You know, I feel a little bit off, like something in me is a little bit disconnected. There's a bit of this wall and sure, I can put on the show, I can smile, I can talk, I can partake, but deep down inside, right in your gut, you just don't feel that sense of connection, okay? So loneliness goes really deep. It's not just in the external, it's this feeling within where ultimately, and we're gonna talk about this later, you are not, quote unquote, enough for you in your eyes, or so you think. Right, that's really loneliness. And it's a feeling of just disconnect, right? We crave this, right? Connection, connecting to others, whether it's through a conversation, a friendship, a relationship, a project, a goal, an activity, you name it, right? You could also, <laughs> let this land, seek connection to others through arguments and disputes, right? If there's someone who, for example, on your mind right now, you're like, oh, I don't like that person. Oh, that person, you're just looping over that person. You are, in a way, seeking connection to that person through, you could say, not being a fan of that person over the looping, the obsession, like, oh, screw that person. Okay, that's uh, reinforcing the bond, the link between you and that person. Okay, so again, human beings, we are social beings. We do want connection. It's very important to have, but as you'll see, it all starts by connecting to you first. Okay, but point number one here is do take in the larger sense of unity, meaning it's not just you, right? Especially nowadays with the whole situation that we're in with all the restrictions and lockdowns, guess what? The majority of the world, they feel lonely, even with the introduction of technology, right? Your phone, the internet, chat, WhatsApp, you know, Facebook Messenger, all that stuff. We are more connected than ever, but also more isolated than ever, right? A lot of people, the majority, and this is even prior to this whole situation, prior to that too, every single year I'd see it, the majority of people actually have more interactions with their friends, so on and so forth, online through a screen versus in person. To the point where it could actually be even awkward talking to someone in person because you're so used to talking to them online. Right? I'll see, for example, clients and they'll talk about the relationships they're in and they're like, well, in person, you know, we kind of fight a lot. It's not all that. But then as soon as we um, both go to work, suddenly it's lovey-dovey texts, right? It's like the relationship is now over text and in person, it's a little weird, right? So social media, technology, 2020 and 2021, all that has definitely compounded, you could say, that feeling of loneliness within a lot of people, okay? So take this in. This is huge. This might sound very simple, but trust me, it's very practical and very impactful if you let it land. Because what loneliness will tell you is, hey, it's just you, right? It's you are disconnected, you are alone, you're the only one experiencing this state of loneliness where it's like, Ugh, I just don't feel that connection to people, to the world, I don't really belong, but that's not true. Funny enough, in that sense of loneliness, you are actually even more connected to the people around you because that's what most people experience. Okay, so take that in. Take in that larger sense of unity, right? Find the unity in this feeling of loneliness, knowing that other people are in this moment. If you're feeling it right now watching this video, other people in the world are too. Okay, you can also look at, for example, how many likes, right? or how many views. If a lot of people resonate with this, guess what? It's not just you, okay? And you can even take this one step further, by the way, and just think of examples, right? Think of examples of people who have gone through extreme loneliness. Look that up, right? You might be like, well, that's kind of sad and depressing. No, if you look it up and suddenly see, wow, there's a lot more cases of this, it's not just me, that can be incredibly impactful, okay? Just myself, guess what? I've experienced a lot of loneliness. I've experienced a lot of loneliness growing up, I experienced a lot of loneliness 
in my earlier days before I achieved any kind of external success. And I've also experienced a lot of loneliness after that, right? Even after the fact where I'm like, you know, I'm traveling around, this is many years ago, doing all these events and things on the surface, it's going great, right? Anyone on the surface, everyone's like, oh, the social life. <laughs> yep, that's what it's about. Deep down inside, I was like, yeah, I just don't feel it, right? You feel very isolated, especially with the travel. So I've been there, everyone's been there. It's not just you, that's point number one. Point number two is tell people. No joke, tell someone, A, you know what, I feel a little bit lonely, okay? Why? Because what this will do is it will decrease the amount of walls that are placed between you and others, okay? We also do this with secrets, right? The more secrets you actually have, that might actually compound this effect of feeling lonely. Now, does that mean tell everyone everything? Of course not. Right? And it actually is very healthy to have a certain amount of information that you only keep for yourself. Right? That is actually healthy in my opinion. But if you're someone who has tons and tons and tons of secrets, what does that do? You could say it thickens that glass wall between you and others. And it will prevent a lot of connection. So just this, right? It's like, oh, I feel lonely. Most likely it's like, oh, I can't even tell anyone. Oh, and it just makes me feel worse. And it just compounds. Tell someone. And just by opening up about something so real, so raw, so impactful inside, uh, you're going to feel a bit more of that sense of connection. You're going to feel a lot of relief. And that glass wall between you and others will diminish, you could say, in terms of the thickness. Okay. Um, but this is very powerful. Tell people. The next one, point number three is learn how to meet new people, right? So I talked about the example where you could be feeling very lonely and yes, you have a great social life, right? And this will have to do with point three and four, right? Some inner work might be required here, but it could also be that you simply aren't around people who you really resonate with, right? As cheesy as it sounds, you aren't around your tribe, right? So you either might not have a tribe and externally you feel very lonely. You're like, look, I don't have any friends. I don't have any connections. Uh, I just don't find anyone I mesh with. In which case, meet new people, because they're out there, right? If you feel lonely and you're not taking a lot of action on the external, it's simply because you haven't met enough people. And if you have some people around you and you still don't really connect, it's possible that that's not your tribe. It's possible that you just entered into a tribe that A, there's not that true connection there and also, meet new people. And this is why it's also so important to learn and cultivate people skills, right? You must learn, this is basic requirements, in my opinion, as a person, you better have the capability of meeting new people. You better have the capability of starting a conversation, right? There's someone you wanna meet, you should know how to do that. If not, you are gonna feel very limited and you are going to feel somewhat lonely, right? And it's crazy if you think of, um, the average person, right, in a social setting or, or just their social life, you could say, um, just how restricted it is, right? It's like the average person, they'll make their friends, right, growing up, you know, high school, college, you make your friends. But say you even move after that or say you don't, like that's all you have, right? So you have, okay, your friends from school, then you'll get a job and you might make a few friends in your job. And then that's pretty much, you could say, the friendships you have access to. Say you get into a relationship, now you might meet, okay, your partner's friends, and that expands it a little bit, but that's it. It is so, you could say, limiting that, that, that it's just sad, right? It's like, hey, in life, out of everyone here alive, this is what you have access to. <laughs> like, oh, that's it? <laughs> right? What if your tribe is not in that little sample? Oh, I don't even know how to meet new people. That's the average person. That's crazy. Right? So no wonder a lot of people also feel lonely. They just don't have that skill to just go up and strike up a conversation. They don't have a skill to, hey, let's go meet friends. Right? If someone, for example, if you were to land in a new city, you knew no one and you were there for a day, could you go out and make friends and have an amazing experience? Could you make connections? Or would you just isolate alone or just go to the restaurant alone and just eat alone over your sad little soup? Right? Which one would you be? Get the people skills. Start meeting new people. They're out there, 
And it doesn't necessarily only mean in person, you can also meet new people online, right? If there's different activities that you're into or different interests that you have, there's a ton, a ton of different online groups you can join, but ultimately start putting yourself out there. Stop waiting for things to magically happen. Put yourself out there and put yourself in situations where you will meet new people, okay? And point number four, this is the big one, is that it all starts within. As I mentioned, if you feel lonely, it's easy to think it's all out there and you need to fix the external, but you could have the perfect external setting, including even your tribe, right? Those people you connect with. But if you feel disconnected within, nothing out there will change. It all starts in here. If you feel lonely, it means that you believe that you are not good enough for you. And that would be something to bring your awareness to. If you sit down in this moment, what's missing? Why are you not good enough for you? I feel lonely. Why do you need more? Why is this not enough? And you can really sink into this perspective, right? Is there any resistance to being you? A craving for more? What about in this moment, right? Assuming right now you're watching this and you're in a comfortable setting, just sit down and reflect on this, right? You can even close your eyes and just see, why are you not good enough for you? What's missing right here, right now? If you don't feel amazing, if you don't feel great, why? Is there a craving for more? Is there resistance to being you? Right, I need to be better, I need more, I need this, I need that, I need this person, I need this friendship, I need this connection, I need the money, I need the validation. What's this force that's just pulling you away, saying, this is not enough? That there is the process you're gonna have to go through. Okay, this is done through letting go. You're gonna have to let go of that and get back in touch with your true self, develop a healthy relationship with you. Because the relationship you have with yourself is the one that dictates every single relationship. The relationship you have with yourself is very disconnected, you're gonna feel lonely within. And guess what? That will dictate every relationship from there and you will feel lonely in the real world, in the external world as well. Okay, why are you not good enough for you? Some other perspectives is, hey, what if you were to remain alone the rest of your life? Could you be okay with that? And if there's a part of you just screaming, no, that's something to let go of. And with these perspectives here too, the key is don't give yourself the right answer, right? It's like, why are you not good enough for you? Your mind's probably like, well, I am good enough for me, <laughs> right? It's like, why do you need more? Well, I don't. I actually realize that, you know, I accept myself, right? Um, that there is the right answer, but that's your mind interfering. What you have to realize is that, hey, Although, yeah, consciously you're like, I'm good enough for me, there may be a part of you, just maybe, if you feel lonely, that believes you aren't. That's going to be your first obstacle. If you feel lonely, and at the same time, you're telling yourself, I feel good enough for me, that's not true. Or you wouldn't feel lonely. If you felt good enough for you, you wouldn't feel lonely. So if your mind's telling you that, and you feel lonely, ah, 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 BS. Let's see if a part of us does. Don't give yourself the right answer, give yourself the real answer, okay? So sinking into that too, it's like, hmm, what's that energy, what's that force? The same with when you come home from work, right? Most people, when they come home from work, they can't stand being alone. They immediately need a distraction, right? It's like, let me uh, put on the music, uh, YouTube, TV, uh, distraction, oh, food, gotta be doing something. They just can't relax. Right? You could even give yourself a challenge, sit down for 20 minutes doing nothing and see how you feel. Right? Are you really good enough for you? 20 minutes, just doing nothing. Deep breaths, just enjoying being you. Is that good enough? Or, oh no, right now I'm left with that little voice within. <laughs> that too, what's the theme of that little voice in your head? For a lot of people, it's very toxic. It's very uh, self-attacking. What's the theme of the relationship you have with yourself. That there is something to work on, okay? Work on the internal, the relationship you have with yourself. Meet new people, that's the external approach. Tell people if you experience extreme loneliness, and then of course, take in that larger sense of unity, okay? And hey, if you're watching this and you're thinking, whoa, that sounds great, but how do I work on letting go of that feeling within? Very easy, just go to julianmentoring.com you can book a free coaching session if you like, right? Um, on this session, by the way, not everyone gets the free call. So when you do apply, 
put in a lot of information, right? Show us that you're serious. But if you get the free call, you'll jump on a free coaching session where one of my coaches is gonna go over your situation, answer your questions, and not just that, but you'll get a free letting go meditation. So if you're like, well, how do I let go of loneliness? Jump on the call, get more personalized feedback, and get the letting go meditation and get to work. Okay, with this free call, there really are no excuses. It's like, hey, oh, how? There you go, it's right here, and it's free. That's how. Let me uh, go through the chat here. Someone's like, you can never relax indoors, it's not natural. That, my friend, is a very limiting belief. <laughs> can you imagine, it's like, anytime I'm indoors, can't relax. It's like I'm sleeping outside only, living outside. <laughs> oh, you poor soul, right? So, hey, no, no joke, right? It's like I'm kind of laughing at it. Like, that's a serious issue. If you truly feel that way, by the way, seek professional help. Um, but take in that, right? It's like you might think, oh, I'm so lonely. Uh, and then, hey, there's someone right now who can't even relax inside, who can't even be inside because they think it's unnatural. No, you might think, oh, that's so sad. Or just take in the unity. Whoa. Other people are also going through hard times, right? Um, let's see here. Someone's like listening from France. Oh, why, thank you. Someone's like, I don't have a wife, no girlfriends, no nothing. Well, hey, that's, you could be, of course, inspired to do that, but that should not be, and this is actually very important, the thing that makes you no longer feel lonely. This is huge. If there's loneliness within, you're in that state, and you only try to compensate with the external, it will make things far worse, right? Say you get into a relationship to escape loneliness, that's the same as people who get into a relationship because, again, I'm not good enough. Will you complete me? That's terrible. You're giving then the power away to that person, and once you get into a relationship, if you do, because it will cause a lot of self-sabotage, but say you do, there's always going to be the fear now of losing that person. Oh, what if my partner leaves me? Then I'll be lonely again. And that is a very unhealthy relationship. That's the basis for a toxic relationship. It's going to lead to a lot of manipulation. More often than not, it's unconscious. Just trying to keep your partner there. Because if that, in your mind, you're like, my partner makes me no longer feel lonely, you will not ever risk a situation where your partner may leave you because then you'll be lonely again. Okay, you're ultimately, in that case, using a person to fulfill your loneliness. And this is sadly what a lot of people do. They use the external, and sadly, a lot of times it's people, to fulfill internal needs. No, no, no. You fulfill your own internal needs, and then from there, by all means, get into a relationship. But it's not, I'm in complete relationship. It's, I'm complete, they're complete, and together there's a synergy called love. Right? So it doesn't matter on your external here. Right? It's like, Someone who feels connected within, they could be around a ton of people, they could be isolated in a room alone, they will not feel lonely, okay? That there, lonely, is when you're by yourself versus around people, that's one of those dumbed down mainstream narratives, okay? There's a lot more to it than that. Someone, is this live? Yes, it is. Okay. Just scrolling through the chat. But I would audit, right? You can ask yourself here too. It's like, what are all the different ways I'm trying to seek connection? Right? And you can see, for example, externally all the different things you do. And you can proactively, someone's like, Julian, I hate loneliness. But I can't connect with anyone or befriend people because I don't like them. Well, that's actually, you know what? That's an even better point than the point I was going to make. You may also want to and this is a trap I've seen people fall into when they get into self-help, take off the self-help judgmental glasses when interacting with people, right? Um, I see this where everyone's like, self-help glasses on, right? I was gonna say, I got the self-help glasses on. It's all about success now. It's all about self-improvement. And anyone who isn't aligned with self-improvement, I'm gonna cut them out of my life. You know what, I saw some motivational video that said, if they ain't about success, cut them out. 
You don't want friends holding you back. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Only surround yourself with successful people who talk about and think about success all the time. <laughs> and that's what people do, right? And then they cut out everyone. They're like, well, I'm alone. <laughs> now, yes, it's important to surround yourself with successful people. But hey, there's a lot more to a person than self-help. What about just connecting with someone for the sake of connecting? Take off the glasses of how will this help me move up in life? What about just talking to a human? What about vibing? That's the whole point of vibing. All right, there's people, here's my favorite example, right? Say it's the holidays, um, you know, you might see like family members, distant family members, and there's people who will talk about things that you're not that into. For me, for example, it'd be um, sports, right? Like I have played basketball growing up, but I, really not that much of a sports person. You could say, oh, there's this player and that player. I'm like, oh, doesn't ring a bell. Say it's the holidays and there's some family members super into sports. I'll still love talking to them. Even though I'm like, I don't really know nothing about this topic. Does this help me in self-help? Because <laughs> it's not about that. It's about the human connection there. So, hey, you could be the little snobby self-help judge alone in your little self-help tower. Or when talking to people, take the glasses off. There's more to a person than self-help and success. Okay, what a beautiful point. Huh? Now, as I mentioned, if you'd like practical advice here that builds on what we covered, go to julianmentoring.com and you will also get a free letting go meditation. This is really step five to this video. Now you get the first four steps, gets your head screwed on straight, you know what to focus on. Step five is you're gonna have to let go of that charge that is fueling the state of loneliness. How? Jump on a call, get a free letting go meditation. And not just that, but you also gain a lot of clarity when it comes to what you're doing, what you're focusing on, and where you should be going in life, okay? This here eliminates all the excuses. If your mind's like, oh, I don't know if it'll work, I'm so lonely, put that voice aside, jump on the free call, no joke. Loneliness doesn't have to be that way. And it's actually, people sometimes get triggered when I say this, but hey, it's because you haven't gotten the right advice yet. Loneliness is actually very, very, very easy to overcome. It's very, very easy to let go of when you have the right tools and guidance. So, julianmentoring.com, get the guidance, get the letting go tool, and get to it. Why do you have to feel, why are you feeling lonely? Uh, right now, why are you feeling lonely? If you don't have to, the link is right there. Why are you purposely feeling lonely? It's right there. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. Back to the lives now that I'm back here, back from tour. Brace yourselves for more. Please make sure you click on the like video if you want to lift the loneliness curse. Uh, comment below, subscribe. It helps this video reach more people. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of people are lonely. A lot of people need to hear this type of advice. So click on the link, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, uh, someone's like, free call, free. Yeah, literally 100% free. I know, right? You can also see like the level of self-sabotage in people when they're like, no, it's free, but I, is it, I don't know. It's like, do it. Just do it. <laughs> Until next time. Like this program is such a game changer the way everything's structured and the material, it's been already, even for me, it's just been, I'm noticing a crazy change in, in the way that my whole life's like playing out. What you put together is just incredible. There's nothing like that. I've just jumped like a million levels. It's just been a complete 180 for my experience of existing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just been so huge in terms of so many of the things I'm finally understanding and realizing and epiphanies I'm having. What you do is a huge inspiration to me and I think it's one of the most beautiful things you can give to another human in this entire world. You saved my in life, man. I'm telling you, that's, this is real, man. Sometimes all it takes is just one person who believes in you. Find people who are where you are in life and model them, work with them. I would not be here if I didn't have people who held me accountable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt a click and things are changing. This program was just top notch. Seriously, like this is a masterpiece. This is 
this is perfect. Everything, the way it's set up, the live calls, like all the support from the coaches is incredible. It's, it's been nuts. I just have my tears of joy. This was the best decisions I ever made. Thank you for creating something wonderful like this. This program was phenomenal. This program was, uh, was amazing. This program has definitely changed my life. I know for a fact I'm in the right place. This is exactly what I was expecting from the program. It's been uh, spectacular. I feel really lucky to, to have found you. Thank you so much, Julian. It's, uh, it's worth every dollar.